We've been working on our geothermal tubes for the high tunnel. We uh, put a hundred foot of four inch uh, corrugated plastic pipe in the ground. We've got about half of it buried. We put water in the hole to, so that we'll have water in the high tunnel. One inch PVC for water, not as much for the volume, but for the pressure, the larger the diameter of the pipe, the more pressure you have at the other end. If you put a half inch in, even though you've got a half inch hole stuck to it, the further you are from your well, the, the less uh, pressure you have because of the, the volume in the pipe. So it's coming in over here at the high tunnel. You can kind of see over here, and can you see, uh, there's the corrugated drain pipe. It's four inch uh, diameter, and it's 100 foot long, and it's coming out over here. I'll show you in a second. And then the water is coming from over here where we trenched this last summer. If you've been following our channel long, we trenched over here, and uh, it's where I got the water this summer. And it's coming in over here. I might show you inside here in just a second. And Papa's been covering it up. We went and run an errand that we'll tell you about in a couple of days. I'm going to go do this. Papa's going to get on the tractor and finish this up. So say bye, Papa. I'm already on the tractor. He's going to start up the tractor and finish this up. So Y'all so have a wonderful day. Over here is where it comes out. He's pushing it back in the hole. So he's already done this. Uh, I had to go run an errand. I did over here just a bit. And I did just a bit over here. Uh, and then he's finishing it up. He's scooping it up is what he's doing. That's not what I did, uh, but he's scooping it up and dumping in there. This geothermal th experiment was inspired by a YouTube video about citrus in the snow. Uh, the guy up in Nebraska, I think his name is Russ Finch maybe, he has some geothermal tubes that allows him to grow oranges and other citrus up in Nebraska. And I think, I'm not sure which zone he's in, but I think it's cooler there than it is for us. He has his eight foot in the ground. We do ours about five foot in the ground. And here's the water. We've got a spigot here. And then uh, we came brought from over here. I covered this up earlier. I don't know if you noticed this tower that's right here. We're gonna put it up maybe tomorrow so we can put a camera up on that. Uh, to uh, monitor certain things. Uh, we went ahead and uh, kept going over this way. So if we want to take uh, water that way, we can. And we're gonna keep on going over here toward the new property that's over yonder. This is really exciting. This is a project that we want to get done. It's gonna make it a little bumpy over here. We might need to get the tiller on the tractor so we can finish this up. This is gonna stay covered right here. Uh, so it'll let air in. And then we're gonna put a fan in the high tunnel. Let's take you over there and look real quick. I didn't take a whole lot of footage of us doing this because uh, if you've seen our other trenching video, then you've already seen what we do. We just got the backhoe and we dug it. Uh, we've gotten a bit better at it. And uh, Papa would dig and I would get on there and move it forward just a few feet. Uh, and uh, we put it to one side or the other and now we're just covering it up. And it's coming in right over here. Right here is the corrugated pipe. We're gonna put a fan on that to bring in air and it's gonna be warmed by the earth in the winter time and cooled by the earth in the summertime. So that'll make it a little cooler in here in the summer and a little warmer in the winter. And then we've got water in here as well. It's supposed to get down to about 29 degrees tonight, so it probably won't freeze. Um, so we don't have to worry about too much about it. And then he's gonna put that tower up uh, tomorrow and uh, I might help him with that and then get the rest of this completely covered up. But we're done with that for now. Uh, bunnies are doing okay as well. Uh, if you watched my last video, I took a little bit of a break. I've brought the bunnies in here, but somebody commented that they might escape and they did. You see, they dug a couple holes here. One morning I came out here and four of the five had escaped and uh, gotten out and the other one was still in there. So they're all okay. Uh, they're right here. And I've been moving them every time, uh, twice a day in the morning and in the evening and putting some comfrey and some other weeds in there as well. But all the tomatoes have died, you see that? And down here at the end, the pumpkin died, uh, but the Brussels sprouts and the cabbages and the broccoli, and actually the stevia has made it as well. Here are the strawberries, they're doing well and the comfrey is fine. Uh, so uh, this is a major project, this geothermal and having the water over here is very nice. We're also going to uh, get our, uh, uh, our water catchment done pretty soon. Uh, the beans died, did I, tell, did I mention that? The beans are all dead, they didn't make it. They didn't ever get any beans off of them. I'm sorry I didn't include you more in it. If you wanna see some more of uh, what we're doing with this, 
Uh, then like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all so you never miss a notification. Uh, make sure to comment down below that you want to see more videos about the geothermal. I'm sure we're going to do some, uh, but let us know. And if there's anything else that you're interested in as well, uh, let us know. But uh, we're going to get this uh, uh, done. Uh, we just got back, Rue and I, from the errand. Uh, I wanted to let you know what we were doing here, just get a little bit of footage there. Uh, but uh, this is really exciting. We do a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and a live stream on Sunday night on YouTube at 8 p.m. Central Time that we'd love to have you at. Thanks for coming.